A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a filmmaker went pants crapping insane. <laughs> Remember when this first came out? Oh yeah, man. Dewey-eyed fans lining up for days, hearts full of hope. The theme song plays, they cheer like mad, and then the movie started. Be mindful of the living force, young Padawan. Yes, Master. But the screenplay, I, I sense disaster. Captain, look! And here comes the hot wax, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I had it set on flaming death instead. <laughs> the army of Andy Dix would be a better defense than these guys. Ten minutes in, and Lucas's entire pant leg is soaked with urine, <laughs> having whizzed this film right down his leg. Oh, He's embarrassing. Uh, we agree. It's as if Roger there. Rabbit was redesigned by Satan. Ah, thank you for giving us a long, unhindered look at the business end of America's most loathed character. Yes, though we don't know his anatomical makeup, we can assume that right there lurks Jar Jar's batch and his horrible, puckered oh, little... Oh, Kevin! Oh, come on, Mike, you know in your heart of hearts that right now, Liam is swimming through a hot stream of whatever kind of excrement that horrible creature oh. puts out. Oh, why, Kevin? Ah, you see, they live in a bathtub fart bubble. <laughs> oh, good lord, if Michael Bay directed an animated version of the Banana Splits, it wouldn't be half as stupid as this thing. Kevin, please. What? Now, I think Lucas is as childish and stupid as any plant life you'd care to name, but that's just unfair. No one deserves that. I'm sorry, you're right. It's just Jar Jar and everything. Michael Bay, please. Mike, hand me that wastebasket, will you? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, you, you gonna be okay? In a bit. Meantime, this will serve as my commentary. <laughs> has this movie been on for three hours, or is it me? Oh, it's me too. Captain, take them to Camp Four. Roger, Roger. You know, the robots are the most compelling actors in the film. I will plead our case to the Senate. Flatly, lifelessly, killing scene after doll stupefying scene. How wooed! Yeah, I'll show you how wooed when I pull whatever genitalia you have right out of your mouth. They live on the moons of Diego, um, I think. Is it okay to but say that this boy. kid sucks? I'm glad to have met you, Anakin. I was glad to meet you, too. You know what's creepy is that in the next film they're humping like what? monkeys. Yeah. That was a great role for Paul Giamatti. You better get home quick. Anthony Hopkins could play anything. My parts are showing. My <laughs> Kids love a good penis joke. <laughs> they will be no match for you. Furthermore, I said, hey, wait, I'm being wiped. Wait, no, I'm not in the moonlight to trade. Look, go to hell. <laughs> Don't act. Fight the instinct to act. That's what Cher's going to look like when her facelift collapses. Steve Buscemi, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Buscemi. We will, we will flatupulate you. <laughs> now here's Roseanne Barr to sing the national anthem. Uh-oh, NASCAR fans. Just exercising my constitutional rights. Come on, end. Yeah, you're right. This is a long race. I'm not talking about the race. I want the world to end now. Huh. So, am I wrong, or when this started, wasn't Gerald Ford president? So, George Lucas is a four-year-old, right? That's the only thing that would explain what we just saw. I get that. You mean I get to come with you and your starship? Anakin. Shut up, really. Can I go, Mom? Anakin. Shut up. But you can't stop the change. Any more than you can stop the suns from setting. Or the moons from mooning. Story? There is none. But please enjoy these halfway decent computer graphics. Um, Mike, Kevin, if like me you are fans of long, no, no, talky no, scenes packed to bursting no. with drab, uninteresting sentences, no, you are in for a treat, my friend. Swords. But no, chances no, are you're not fans, so strap in and, and hold on for this festering little dog turd of a scene. No <laughs> in the Thank you. Thank you, Dis. This would be Holy cat. Disembodio, you were right. I'm, I'm actually losing consciousness. Yeah, I found myself quietly praying for my own death. 
you I wonder if that's what Lucas had in mind when he wrote this. It'd be kind of fun to listen to the director's track, listen to his comments here. <laughs> yeah, with, with this scene, uh, I was hoping to take from the viewers their will to live, uh, any hope remaining in their souls, and stomp it out. Kill it dead. Very effective. Finding him was the will of the Force. I have no doubt of that. Penis head, what do you think? Now they will elect a new chancellor. A strong chancellor. One who will not let our tragedy continue. But enough of that the scene. Goodbye. The no speeder. But the pain in is he? Everything. Ah, he's insane. Ah. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Um, Yoda, load of crap, biggest ever heard I is that? Um, do you have a plunger? I kind of... He's a thinking... I will be Chancellor. I fear by the time you have control of the bureaucrats. <laughs> I fear by the time you have control of the bureaucrats. Of I pray you will bring sanity and compassion back to the Senate. And I pray that I never have to emote any more than I just did. I'm exhausted. This <laughs> future is. I've been wondering, what are midichlorians? Oh, they cause B.O. Midichlorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. Yeah. <coughs> oh, <shit. coughs> they live inside me. Inside your cells, yes. <coughs> oh, crap. <coughs> Symbionts. Sorry, I got a... Life forms yeah. sure. living together for mutual advantage. <coughs> Bullshit! Without the midichlorians, <coughs> life would not exist. Okay, okay there. No okay. knowledge of the Force. They continually speak to us. <coughs> crap. Telling us crap. the will <coughs> of the Force. <coughs> Oh, do so completely shut up. I'm sorry for my behavior, Master. It's not my place to disagree with you about the boy. After all, I'm only 38 years old. Ah, great. Another scene with the entire city of Jar Jars. Should I just open my veins right now? <laughs> do you have anything dull and rusty I can... Oh. That's how the Gungans break wind. <sighs> Betray nothing. Do not emote. Give the audience no clues. We've sent our patrol. Okay. <laughs> we already located their starship in the swamp. It won't be long, my lord. We get you some hot and sour soup while you wait for Nuda. Oh, do you think he got a brain clot and died? We couldn't possibly be that blessed. Almost everyone's in camps. Who, who's everyone? Police and guards have formed an underground resistance movement. Resistance to what? I brought what? back as many of the leaders as I could. The Federation leaders of what? Much larger than we thought. What's and the Federation? Started. What the hell is going on? It's, it's okay, man. Mike. There is a possibility with this diversion, many Gungans will be killed. Hooray! Oh, I'm we probably supposed to be to sad about that. Right. I just keep thinking of the poor super fan, you know, in the stormtrooper outfit at the premiere of this turd, and he's saying to himself, okay, maybe the next scene won't eat quite as much, and then each scene eats more than the one before it. <laughs> Rommel, you magnificent son of a bitch, I read your book. <laughs> wow, I've opened cans of soda that have been more exciting than that. <laughs> this is uh, as exciting as the time I dropped a can of tuna, and I thought it was going to hit my toe, but then I moved my foot and the can of tuna didn't hit my toe. I don't know, I'm not sure I'd give it that much credit. Remember when Macbeth said that life was a tale told by an idiot? Uh -huh. I actually think he meant to say Star Wars Episode One is a tale told by an idiot. There must have been a misprint in the first folio edition. Um, you are... We'll handle this. We'll take the long way. Oh, right, the guy who rode up on the gay little motorcycle thing. Uh, should we be scared of you? Because this music kind of implies that we should. Yeah, uh, we met earlier. The script didn't really provide me any real weight of evil, but uh, just assume I am, and let's get right down to it, huh? Fair enough, oh vaguely evil character with no motivation. It's an automatic pilot! I think he's referring to the whole Star Wars series there. <laughs> well, the Erzatz Carl Orff is telling us that something hugely important is going on here. Really? Where? On screen in the movie with Don Ho. Aren't you watching? No, sorry. I started answering emails on my Blackberry. I'll get back to the thrilling fight now. You know, I feel like we've been pretty negative on this whole thing, so yeah. say something positive. This film is slightly preferable to having a sandbur in your eye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, between having a hot needle jammed into my infected toenail and this film, I guess I'd take this. Uh, no. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, this was way before Gillette introduced their three-blade lightsaber. Da, da 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 Yes, when in doubt, steal from yourself and your friends. Everything's overheated. Lucas's brain, for instance. No, their best laid plans are crumbling around them. And if you have even the foggiest idea of what those plans are, shame on you. I feel throw up -y. Yeah, I killed him. What are you gonna do, baby Juan Kenobi? Take this! And take my bottomlessly awful performance, too! Uh, what are you doing? Because uh, that's not scary at all if that's what you're going for. Remember, never give the audience any clue as to what you're thinking, feeling, or doing. We shall bring peace and prosperity to the Republic. But there's no more words in the script, so let's just end that scene. <laughs> ah, a whole army of Jar Jars ready to ruin movies the world over. And so, as a corpulent lizard holds a shiny ball that does God knows what, the $200 million Star Wars movie limps to a pathetic close. But they'll be back in Star Wars Episode 2. This time, Lucas really doesn't care.